I'm not sure the, uh, any plan addresses the uh, concerns that, that, that I'm hearing. People are disappointed uh, in the way the, the bishops have uh, led uh, and the confusion beginning uh, in terms of the statement that we're coming from the council. The people that uh, share my convictions uh, feel that uh, the convictions that had been really uh, the source of our divisiveness and our divisions uh, really were trying to be addressed by discounting them. Uh, and uh, and uh, that they're just disappointed that, that that's all that was really done in trying to rewrite the, uh, the, the, fav the, the favoritism of the bishops uh, simply was just discounting the whole debate that we'd had all these years. The connectional plan, the third one that now they're saying may not even be considered by the general conference, the third one did address that by, you know, having a, an umbrella kind of unity, uh, but with the sections of the church that, uh, that could express their consciences freely uh, and live by the expression of those consciences. So there's confusion about how the bishops are leading. There's even confusion, I think, about uh, how the general conference might might act, uh, and if we can, in fact, uh, consider these three uh, uh, plans. I personally am committed to the traditional plan, uh, but I would like to see us discuss the connectional plan. I think the one church plan, which 60% uh, of the council favors, I think that's the worst plan of all of them, because I think it, instead of uh, fostering unity, it really cultivates disunity uh, because it divides the church in such obvious kinds of ways, uh, giving the pastor the freedom to do this, the annual conference the freedom to do this, a local church the freedom to do this, uh, and it's, it's just going to ravage, I think, both the local church and the annual conference because it's going to cause this whole debate about the nature of marriage and the nature of uh, uh, homosexuality uh, to be lodged at both the annual conference level and the local church level uh, rather than the general church level where I think for a connectional church like ours and for unity there needs to be a body that settles uh, such significant issues. If we're going to be connectional and I think I think that is our uniqueness in terms of our governance, is our connection. Uh, I don't believe that's what binds us together. Uh, it's what keeps us together because we do have doctrine and discipline that this connection abides by.